Defining peace as a multidisciplinary academic and moral quest for solutions to the problems of war and justice with the consequential, and we'll just see that in a minute, but looking at peace as a multidisciplinary subject where it can be incorporated in all subject areas at all grade levels is the best way to teach it. But again, that stems from one's attitude towards peace education and peace studies. Development of institutions and movements that will contribute to a peace that is based on justice and reconciliation. What should the results of peace education be? Peace education could lead to a society, to a community, to a nation, to a world where everyone begins to see things with a light of justice and when things go wrong, people can come together and make up. Reconciliation seems to be a critical tool in peace education and peace studies. Kremen, in 1993, places a greater emphasis on skills and attitudes defining peace education as. And so, you see, there are different people who've written about peace education, who've talked about peace education, having different attitudes. One believes in a knowledge-based approach. The other believes more in a skills and attitudes-based approach. Now, it depends on a single individual, on a single teacher, what approach you want to take. To me, I think the best approach is a little bit of both at the right time.